that it does make reference to a suicide. But without further delay, let's begin the performance. Reza Barati was a 23-year-old Kurdish asylum seeker from Iran. Four years ago today, he was brutally beaten to death by Salvation Army and G4S officers employed at the Manus Island Detention Centre. The Department of Immigration, Salvation Army and G4S, blood on their hands. Saeed Ibrahimi Hussain was a Pakistani refugee trafficked to Nauru by the Australian government. He drowned off Annabare Bay along with a local person who had attempted to rescue him. The Department of Immigration, blood on their hands. Hamid Kazai was a 24-year-old asylum seeker from Iran. He contracted a treatable infection on Manus Island and became critically ill. Avoidable delays meant he was not transferred to Australia until it was too late to save him. Department, Department of, of Immigration, Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. Omid Masumali was a 23-year-old man from Iran who set himself alight on Nauru. Before he self-immolated, he stated, this is how tired we are. This action will prove how exhausted we are. I cannot take it anymore. He died two days later in Brisbane following fatal delays to a medical evacuation. The Department of Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. Rakib Khan was a young man from Bangladesh who died in the Republic of Nauru Hospital while waiting for medical evacuation to Australia. It is suspected that his death was from heart failure. The Department of Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. Kamil Hussain was a refugee and father from Pakistan who was trafficked to PNG by Australian Border Force. He was found drowned at a waterfall near Lorengau. The Department of Immigration, blood on their hands. Faisal Ishaq Ahmed was a 27-year-old father and refugee from Sudan who died in Royal Brisbane Hospital after being medically evacuated from Manus following a fall and seizure, which resulted in head injuries. Faisal had blacked out on numerous occasions and had requested help from IHMS more than 20 times over a six month period. This help was not provided. The Department of Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. Hamid Shamshirapur was a 31-year-old man from Iran. He was found hanging near the Refugee Transit Centre in East Lorengau, PNG. Requests to bring Hamid to Australia and provide him with adequate mental health support were ignored. The Department of Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. Rajiv Rajendra was a 32-year-old Tamil asylum seeker he was found hanging outside Lorengau Hospital. He had attempted suicide on the Friday night, was admitted to hospital and was supposedly under its care when he suicided on the Monday. The, the Department of Immigration and IHMS, blood on their hands. On the 2nd of November 2017, a refugee living in the community on Nauru who has not been publicly named was killed after the motorcycle he was riding was hit from behind by another vehicle. The Department of Immigration, blood on their hands. I ask you now to repeat after me. The Australian government has blood on its hands. These policies kill. They killed Reza Barati. They killed nine men seeking safety. They killed nine men seeking safety. We are here today, we are here today to, remember to 
remember Reza Farasi. To remember Reza Farasi. To remember Saeed. To remember Saeed. To remember Hamid. To remember Hamid. To remember Omid. To remember Omid. To remember Raki. To remember Raki. To remember Kamil. To remember Kamil. To remember Faisal. Give a bit of thanks to the performers. Put your hands together, please. I'm now going to introduce Karis Thompson to come up and do a song entitled Razor Barati.